River Tyne. Oh, I just love to come here. Especially when the weather is so nice. And get inspired by God. It's just impossible to sit indoors when the weather is so beautiful. And I would like to tell you about my next painting. This painting I called I Can Do All Things Through Christ Who Strengthens Me. And the name for this painting has been given to me by God when painting was almost finished. And it made me really laugh because it's been taken so literally, it seems to be. But actually this painting is saying a lot about life of, of its heroes. This family, Tanya and Glenn, they have the African roots. And this painting is celebrating their love for each other and love for their children. You know, Tanya, when God gave me that picture in my mind, uh -huh. I just saw how Glenn holding you on one hand. And it made me so laugh. It was so funny in a way. Yeah. But I thought, well, I'm just go for it. Yeah. And while I was doing the painting and everything was almost done, uh, and God just gave me a name. And he said it will be called, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. And then I remember that story Mar that you were saying how your kids, these beautiful twins, how they came along. Mm -hmm. So can you talk about it a little bit more? Yes. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize that I had block tubes. So I had block tubes and I ended up having IVF. But interestingly, most of my life I've been working with kids young so through the whole process of not being able to have children yet so so committed to working with kids that was a struggle then when i finally decided to do the ivf because before then i had such i was so frustrated so angry so upset that um, i would have to go through the process of the ivf because i always said i believed in healing and i always said if god can divide the red sea he can sure open these tubes <laughs> but that was not the case and I remember my mum who's a believer she mentioned to me oh Tanya just have the IVF and I was like no mum how can you being a woman of God telling me to have the IVF I, I believe in healing and I know God can touch me anyway as it transpired I went ahead dragged my feet had the IVF and to be honest the way how it happened everything was a miracle I had ups and downs and 
you know, Glenn supported in, in different aspects and different areas. But I remember the, the great part of it, I remember having a consultation and they said, oh, you're going to have mood swings, this is going to happen, and so on. I went through the whole process, no mood swings. Um, I remember there was an occasion that I nearly missed the whole ovulation point. Um, and, and I had to take my medication at a certain time and I'd forgotten. I was like, oh my gosh, and Glenn had to run home and get it. So the whole process was, was amazing. I had a fantastic pregnancy. Um, I remember uh, after the pregnancy, the, the doctors even said, we, I received a, an invoice for payments of, you know. And I rang through and I was like, what's going on here? And, and they said, oh, sorry, Mrs. Smiley, ignore the, in, the, the invoice. We forgot to give you some financial advice. And I thought, which doctor forgets to give financial advice? So the bill was canceled. Um, and I remember when I got the, I was talking to uh, my colleague at work and saying, oh my gosh, you know, I've got to do that on IVF and, and um, even the medication is, is six pounds each. Can you believe it? And she turned to me in shock and horror and said, six pounds each i i had to pay nearly <laughs> two grand so in every aspect i saw god just open doors and i remember um because i had them abroad i remember again financially my bill was over twenty thousand nearly thirty thousand dollars and um god made a way and the beautiful thing about it that was cancelled i applied for funding and it was just initially I was told no it's impossible I can't have this funding um, and then for whatever reason um, the, the the hospital had a chat and looked at things and I just got a letter to say that my whole debt of over 30 grand was cancelled and I didn't have to pay it so I have seen and I could be sitting there and talking about more and more about the kids and I have seen where if I had the kids naturally, yes, it would have been a blessing. But the way I had the IVF, it was first time, the first collection of eggs apparently was spot on. Everything went spot on. I had no financial payments because they were cancelled and, and, and miss, you know, whatever the, 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 the situation was. But from it, I've seen more of God's favour because he wanted to shine through me, through this experience. And I've seen where going down this route, at first I was not happy, but going down this route was one of the best things for me. Because I saw more favour in doing the IVF than if I just probably went, went natural. So it's that's an amazing. An amazing, amazing story. Yeah. And you have a great family and beautiful, yeah. beautiful children. And thank you, yes. And, and I remember from, from when I was young, I always said I want two kids. And it's funny because God blessed me with twins. Um, I always like to say buy one, get one free, but it, it was a difficult um, period occasionally and throughout the whole of it, God really has been my strength. So in every aspect, I saw God just open doors.